Hello guys, this is Mike. I thought I'd um, compare something. Uh, a lot of people wanted to know. I mean, there's a lot of videos on comparing this little Celeron N3050. And uh, they're calling it a pretty weak processor. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and disprove that a little bit. One thing, one hobby I like doing is benchmarking processors, new and old. Some of my favorite processors are the even to this day, are the Core 2 dual processors. Well, I have a software program here called the PC Wizard 2008. PC Wizard 2008 is one of the best older ones for testing new uh, processors against old. So what I want to do now is show that actually the N3050 is not that weak of a processor. Actually, it's pretty strong considering it only runs at 1.6 gigahertz sure it turbos at 2.16 gigahertz but a lot of people consider it a pretty weak processor well i'm gonna prove you wrong this processor is actually pretty strong anyway let's get to it i'm running windows 10 on this little laptop right now running the n60 anyway let's open this program we're going to go down to benchmark and let's open it. Let's open the program. Okay. Ignore the thing. This is a 64 bit processor, so this program doesn't really like 64 bit, but it will compare this to an older uh, processor, which in the day, the uh, Core 2 Dual, especially the higher uh, frequency ones, were actually considered pretty good, pretty quick for the day. But I want to show you something. This is the lowest, probably the lowest end Celeron you can get nowadays. Uh, but let's compare the strength of this bad boy. I think you'll be surprised. It's running the benchmarking right now. If you think it's running slow, uh, just keep in mind that my Core 2 Duals, which I still have a couple, don't run this any better. Anyway, here, hit compare. And I'm comparing it to a Core 2 Duals 66 2400 MHz, which is actually a pretty quick processor during this day. But let's move the chart. As you can see, the bottom, the top one is the Core 2 Dual E6600 running at 2400 MHz. I'm sorry, and where we have the Core uh, Celeron N3050 running at 1.6, possibly in turbo mode over 2, over 2, gig, two, two megahertz, 2 gigahertz, I'm sorry. And that one's at 2400 gigahertz. Anyway, as you can see, the Celeron N3050 compared to the old benchmarking is actually much stronger. So anyone who wants to put this processor down, it might be low end, but I find that my Core 2 Duals can do anything I want nowadays, but here we go. Given the right circumstances, this processor, the Celeron low end by nowadays standards, 3050N is actually a fairly strong processor. Anyway, I just wanted to prove my point because all I hear is people putting down this processor. And the battery life on a Core 2 Dual laptop, believe me, is nowhere near as good. So, I, do, I believe this processor runs at 6, uh, six watts, if I'm not mistaken. It runs much cooler. I don't need a fan. And as I said uh, yesterday, I can run this particular, uh, any laptop running this processor can run all day. Anyway, everyone have a good day. I'll see you later.